Hi, everyone. Bison video blog pregame edition here in Ooh. Sioux Falls on this Monday afternoon with Jeff Kolpak, Mike McFeely, I'm Dom Izzo. We're all sick of each other. We're still got another <laughs> six hours for game time. I'm this, breaking another character. <laughs> yeah, I know it. We've got a long way to go for game time. The Bison men set to play against South Dakota State tonight in the Summit League semifinals. NDSU going for a fifth consecutive Summit League championship game appearance. It will not be harder than this one tonight, Jeff. A, it's not even virtual. It is a road game tonight in a hostile environment. This is going to be a, a huge test for a young Bison team. Well, you just said it all right there. <laughs> I'm not sure what I can add to that and, and what we've known all along. Yeah. This tournament, other than if you're Paul Mills, you want to put it in you know, Russia or something. <laughs> I don't know, but it's, um, it's going to be an uphill battle, and we said it last night. The Bison have a young team. They're going to be in the um, – it's going to be a huge test of poise mm. because South Dakota State's going to make some runs, you know, and then Eric Henderson's going to get the crowd going, oh, no. and they're going to be fever-pitched, and this is going to be a huge test to, you know, to keep your cool about you. I asked Dave Richmond, Mike, about, you know, is this a game in waves? You know they're going to come out and, and hit you early on. He said, well, I, you know, we just got to come out and play better, which is another Daveism there. But don't, yes. I, I just feel yeah. like – SDSU is just Jeff said they're going to come out and want to just blow the doors off this place. Yeah, but that's on. I mean that could be a positive or a negative right. because if you come out and try to do too much too quickly instead of just playing your game, then you're yeah. you might be tight. You might be trying to do too many things. Might try be trying to force shots. You know it might be as much on South Dakota State to just take a deep breath and relax mm. as much as it is on North Dakota State. If the Jacks go on a run or if they take a, a ten point lead. The place is going to erupt. They don't need to be encouraged, right? Yeah. They've been drinking for 15 straight <laughs> hours, all right? They're, they're excited for their yeah. team. They're going to get excited. They don't need to, to press. What is it going to take, though, for any issue? How important for them, though, is a quick start for the buys, I guess, on the sure. flip side of things? Well I, mean, well, I mean, you have to play defense. Don't <laughs> turn the ball yeah. over. Don't have catastrophic turnovers. Don't do stupid things. Protect the basketball. All the stuff I yell at the press table next to you <laughs> yes. every game – you have to do yeah. it. it. It starts with defense with NDSU. It always has. You have to collect the rebounds. Just do the basic stuff. I think you have to weather that first storm, and mm. there's going to be a first storm, mm. and that's you can either sink or swim after that. If you if it, you go down, you know, twelve six or twelve four, and then you let that bother you and, and forget about it. You know, it's a long it's right. a long game yet. Uh, you can get in trouble, but again, you, you just gotta you gotta hang in there in the first half, Mike. Andrew Morgan was a beast the, the game the Bison won in Fargo at 24 and 13. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They can't duplicate that, but if they get anywhere close to that, boy, the Bison have a heck of a chance. Tonight. Yeah, I thought Andrew Morgan has kind of gone in and out this year. Yeah. It's been a lot more out late in the year, yeah. it seems like. And, in fact, he kind of like was in the bench the, uh, against late. Western Illinois yes, late right. in the season. Yep. But I thought last night Andrew Morgan was, was – intense engaged. he was engaged he, word. Yeah. he, he was mm -hmm. involved yeah. didn't miss some layups but yeah. was a physical presence he's a beast man yeah. he has got he's a big guy if he can duplicate that from last night to tonight he'll be just fine yeah. Zeke Mayo Jeff had 41 the Bison shot 60 percent in Brookings and lost the game because they couldn't they gave up 90 points to the Jackrabbits and Dave Richmond told me that this morning like, yeah we we were great offensively we stunk though and that if you shoot 60 percent you better not lose and that's what happened so Dave a little advice <laughs> free <laughs> do something different maybe yeah. and seek mail yeah. I don't know maybe you start to double him a little bit uh, put when when he gets the ball out front I think uh, that happened last time in, in South Coast State's first round game that you know he started to get doubled a little bit yeah. and and, and just got a different look. And, and if you're NDSU, you got to do something different. You just can't let him try to slice and dice. Yeah. And he's just too good of a player. He's 6'3". He's pretty strong, even though he looks a little wiry. Uh, tough to defend. He's quick. Um, I just I would just try something different. We saw now the game with Grant Nelson again. You know SDSU is going to come with everybody they mm -hmm. got. But boy, Mike, he's just been sensational the last eight games here. He has, and last night I just thought he was, he as you said, sensational. Yeah. What a what a game! Yeah. Um, he can do so many things offensively. He's actually been hitting a few more threes the last yeah. few games than he has been. Although I, I still don't necessarily love that aspect of his game. I want to see him go to the basket and, and use that height and length to kind of do things around the hoop. But he is showing. We said early in the year that, like, you know, if he's going to be an NBA guy, doesn't he have to dominate games? And we, and I think he's not necessarily dominating these games, but he's showing you the last couple eight games 
what he can do, and yeah. you go, oh boy, that's yeah. that's pretty impressive at this level. I yep. think there's two matchup problems uh, for both teams. Number one, of course, Grant Nelson for South Dakota State, six eleven. Uh, that's a tough deal for them to, and maybe they double him a, a lot yeah. too. Yeah. Yep. I think South Dakota State. Alex Arians is six yeah, four, but he's, he's deceptively a, quick yeah. and strong. He's got that little fadeaway that's tough to defend. He's a senior. He's been around forever. He was here when Mike Dom was here, for God's <laughs> sakes, and and same with Matt Dettlinger. Yeah. I mean, so they got. Uh, to me, those are the two matchup deals for both teams. I, I, invariably, for any issue, it's going to come down to a young player. It was to Javis Miller last night. If they are going to win this, it can't just be Nelson and Scunberg. They got or Morgan. No, it's but be some but of the young boy, guys. you noticed how short the bench was last yeah, night for NDSU. Yeah, it, was it was seven, right. pretty much yeah, seven. Was I mean, like, that was it. Yeah. Lance Waddles got in for yeah. a couple minutes, but he did not see no. the game after he was in. It's down to seven guys yeah. and barely that, and it's. So it's, it's going to have to be yeah. one of those guys. Uh, Damari Wheeler-Thomas, we keep saying his name. He's the point guard yeah. that Dave Richmond loves, yes. and, and he's his next Lawrence Alexander or Vinny Shahid. He's not at that level yet, but no. those guys, But Lawrence Alexander played as a true freshman. It was yeah. not perfect either, but Damari Wheeler-Thomas is going to play a big role. To Javis Miller, can he repeat what he did last oh, night? Man. That would help. Yeah. Uh, Jakari White just got to hit some threes, man. Yeah. I mean, he hit a couple yep. last night, but just go on a heater. Go on a heater, make five that, threes, that do be, something. That would man, be you know? something. He did that in the game in Brookings, too, that kept them in yep. that game uh, down there. Sixth all-time match between these two schools of the Summer League Tournament, SDSU 4-1, and one, including last year, of course, winning the Summer League Tournament championship game over the Bison. NDSU's lone win was in 2015, Dave Richmond's first tournament championship when they beat the Jacks down here in Sioux Falls. Plenty of coverage all day at Inforum. The game tips at 8.30. We'll be back after the game with our post-game wrap-up. For Jeff, Mike, I'm Dom. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll We'll see you after the game.